guys welcome back so as you can see by the title of this video i am doing a book tag i was actually tagged by the lovely young gifted and black which thank you so much for tagging me i'm always chuffed whenever people tag me um i will be honest this has not happened often but anytime it does happen i'm truly honored so anyway as usual in terms of like who i tag um everyone anyone again i love just seeing different people's responses to the same questions and this one is no exception so as usual you guys already know the drill i am going to answer some questions that i have here on my phone and let's just dive into it so the first question is who or what got you into book two <laughs> So there were a few things that got me into booktube. Um, so one, I was following a lot of booktubers before, um, you know, Books and Lala, um, Naya Reads and Smiles, um, just a lot of people in general, just because I love the idea of just talking about books and um, seeing people's opinions on books that I love. And so it was actually my husband who bought a camera and he started vlogging, doing travel vlogging actually, and he suggested that I try vlogging about books because I'm watching so many other people do it. And so I guess he's really the person who pushed me. And so here we are. It hasn't quite been a year yet. I'm still fairly new. Uh, I think I started in September, but yeah, that's my story behind it. <laughs> okay, so question two. How did you choose your channel name? So again, I have to give credit to my husband, Andrik, who um, actually helped come up with my name. He, just a quick side note, he runs The Daily Destination. I will link it um, for you guys below so that you can check it out if you like travel vlogs in addition to booktube ones. But anyway, so he was the one who actually came up with my name. I knew I wanted something kind of punny, something dealing with books, not just like my regular name. And he was the one who came up with it. I've got the books part of it and then the adjective of being intentional about them so i think it works well what do you think <laughs> all right so number three who are your first friends you made on booktube oh man so this one is gonna sound really sad because i actually um I guess I want to know what qualifies as friends, maybe people who you comment back and forth with regularly, though I don't know if we would be friends. That's okay. I'm going to consider them friends. So if I'm naming your name, you guys are my booktube friends. So we've got Michael. Okay, I'll, I'll link all of these people, first of all, because I don't know their channel names off the top of my head. But we've got Michael. Um, he I think he started around the same time that I did, which was like perfect because we have been kind of like growing together. And he reviews a large variety of books, not just like romance or cozy mysteries which is what i like to do but then we also have lisa um she is fantastic i actually um i think i might have started following her on instagram first or maybe it was youtube i don't remember but i love love her channel she does romance and um i'm so envious lisa if you're watching this i'm so envious of your bookshelves let's just leave it at that um i also love Bree's channel i follow her on both booktube and youtube as well she does amazing um romance content and i actually just watched her latest reading vlog which is ugh, i love watching her reading vlogs um let's see i think cousin as well and uh, she has always been very supportive and she leaves really thoughtful comments which i always appreciate and um check out her channel because she has like a series about explaining different like romance terms which i think is really helpful if you are either new to the genre or you're familiar with the genre but you never knew what some of the language was um but yeah those are just a few of my friends and i'm just in general i'm so appreciative for the community let me go to the next question before i start blabbering even more okay why do you love reading books oh my gosh so if I have not answered that in my like, I don't know, dozens of videos that I've already come out with, um, I guess simply escapism. I love reading about different settings and people doing different things other than what I'm doing in my day to day boring life. Um, yeah, that's it. Plain and simple without going into like a TED talk about it. Next question. What is your favorite way to film a video such as like a camera or lighting or makeup? Okay, so um i always have to 
wear makeup for the most part. I think I might have gone without it a couple times in my like reading vlogs where I'm filming either first thing in the morning or late at night. Um, as far as lighting goes, I did, so when I first started out, um, I bought some uh, lighting, professional lighting, I don't know what you call it, but not the ring one, the regular ones. And I quickly stopped using them because I find them a little too hit or miss because sometimes I can look real shiny and if we've got like a big spotlight on me, that doesn't look good. So I prefer natural lighting as much as possible and if that means that my videos are a little bit darker, so like for example now, it's kind of gloomy outside but I'm filming in front of a window, that's my preference. And as far as camera, my husband bought this camera. I can take zero credit for it, but I love it because it gives me pretty good quality it shoots in 4k I don't think that that's at all necessary this is just an added perk that I already had equipment um, when I started off and as far as the camera this is a Sony uh, a6400 I believe uh, yeah so that's my equipment okay I probably shouldn't have put down my phone so next question what was your first collaboration and who was it with oh so this is a fun one because I actually just had my first collaboration um, last week i believe and that was a kind of author interview or a chat with a handful of authors to talk about cozy mysteries and to spotlight the latest release from esme addison's cozy mystery a spell for trouble and that was super fun not only was it my first like time having guests on the show but it was my first time doing a live show there were a few technical difficulties in the beginning, but overall it was really fun and um, the ladies were extremely nice. Again, it's always fun to talk about books and shockingly, there were people who were actually watching during the live, which I mean, I was surprised about, but also please. <laughs> so next question we have, what keeps you going with booktube? Oh, so that's a really good one because I will be totally honest with you guys. Um, if you are familiar with my channel and you've been keeping up, I have not been posting regularly um, during the months of April and May, and that's just because quarantine hit hard and it's just been like a weird emotional roller coaster. So um, that aside what keeps me going with booktube is just um being excited about books this has never felt like a chore to me and as you guys saw or maybe you didn't notice but as soon as it felt like i just as soon as i didn't feel like doing it i just didn't do it um during again the months of april and may and i think it's just because this is a fun outlet for me i love reading i love talking about books and so it's for that reason that i do it i will be totally honest i'm doing this totally for me if i have subscribers great i love you all thank you for subscribing but back when i had zero subscribers i still did it because i still loved it so i'll probably continue doing that I don't want to be pigeonholed and forced to do this simply because of expectations of other people. And um, yeah, I'm doing it for myself and I'm having fun. <laughs> okay, so next question we have, I keep saying, okay, so um, I'm going to try and edit some of those out, but that's something that I definitely notice in editing and I notice it again now. How do you respond to hate messages or comments? Oh, okay, so luckily, knock on wood, I have not received any. Um, people have been extremely kind and generous. I do see receive the like random spam comments, but that's nowhere near the level of like hate or disagreement. I mean, I don't think that I am saying anything profound on this channel to incite any kind of negativity, though I guess the only thing that I can recall from memory that has happened is that I've received a dislike on a video before, which I celebrated because I feel like if you had enough like uh, urge to dislike my video, that means that you watched it and you were paying close enough attention to be like, mm, I don't like this, dislike. So we're gonna leave it at that. Uh, who is your favorite author and book series? There can be more than one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna make this quick because I can do a whole video. I, I have done whole videos on that. So we're just gonna go with what I think of off the top of my head. So as for romance, I absolutely adore Jill Shalvis's Heartbreaker Bay series. Um, I think it's so fun. She does romantic comedy extremely well. I actually also love, love, love the Murder, She Wrote book series um because i love murder she wrote i talk about that on my channel all the time as well i'm gonna kind of categorize that as like cozy mystery also as far as like mystery thriller slash 
crime thriller slash police procedural. I adore Jeffrey Deaver's Link and Rhyme series. I also talk about that on this channel a lot. Um, it's dark, it's gritty. I love the characters in it. If you love mystery and thrillers, I highly recommend you check it out. Um, I would actually start with the skin collector and not the bone collector, which is probably what people know about the series because clearly it's been not only a movie, but most recently a TV show as well. Next question, any advice? Oh, this is actually the last question. Any advice for others that are on booktube? Use this as a chance to speak up about you as a person in the community. Wow, I feel like I am obligated to say something profound. Um, <laughs> um, any advice? Um, just do you? I don't know if I'm necessarily in a position to be giving advice, uh, lofty advice, because I don't have a lot of subscribers. I think they're a lot, but when you stack them against heavy hitters who are in the thousands, I'm merely a drop in the bucket. But again, I guess that goes back to my advice, which is just do you. I'm not doing this for the likes or the comments or the subscribers, but you know, obviously when those things come up, I am so pleased because it's like, yay, people feel the same way about books that I do. But in the end, I'm doing this for me. So if you love books and you want to talk about books and share whatever, even if it's something as obscure as Murder, She Wrote Collection, which is what I'm into, do it. Um, I don't think that you uh, need to do what is popular. Uh, I know that there is this conception about there being only, you know, you can only be successful if you talk about the latest uh, young adult books or, um, you know, I think right now young adult fantasy is a huge thing, which I mean, there have been some series that I love, but for the most part, I don't tend to gravitate toward that. So it's like, if you're not into that, don't read it. Read what you want to read, talk about what you want to talk about. Chances are there's somebody else out there who likes that as well. And if they do and they speak up about it, great. But if you are talking to an empty room, that's great too, because you're just, you're talking about stuff that you like. So, um, okay, that's a probably about as deep as I'm gonna get with that. <laughs> um, this was the book Newbie and Tag. I hope you guys liked uh, watching this video. Please subscribe if you wanna see more content like it. I do have other book tags out there. Um, I think I have a series or a playlist listing them all if you're into that kind of thing. But otherwise, like I said in the beginning, feel free to do this tag and let me know if you do just so that I can see what your answers are. This is a pretty, uh, pretty fun one but also surprisingly kind of got me thinking which i was not ready for uh because i don't think i've had any coffee this morning anyway i'm glad right i will talk to you guys next time happy reading bye